Hello everybody, welcome back to KDP A to Z. Today I'm going to show you a very simple and free way to make Spot the Difference pages. So you could either use these individually as activity pages in your activity books, or you could do an entire book on this, it's completely up to you. But the point is, this is a completely free way for you to do it, which is completely legal and you can use it commercially. Now, before I go over the details of how to make these Spot the Difference pages, I just wanted to show you how exciting a niche this actually is. Now, you can see that on its own, it is quite a competitive area. But by going further down, you start getting some really good niches where the competition is much lower. And I always like to have a good look on here as well, because it will show you the kind of books that are selling. So let's have a little look. So you can see here, this one, making over $1,600 in monthly sales. So it is quite a good area that you might want to start thinking about getting involved in. It's also counting as a medium content book. So that means you don't have to pay for the ISBN number. So let's get on to actually making the Spot the Difference pages. Now, the program that I'm using, it's my favorite one for finding free images, is Pixabay. Um, the reason that it's my favorite is because you don't have to attribute anybody in your book. So um, I've just typed in at the top here, coloring page. Now, the reason I've gone with just a coloring page is because it will come up with black and white images for me, which is my favorite thing because it's much cheaper to produce the book. But you can, of course, do any image that you like um so we're just going to scroll down here and i quite like quite like this picture here this is a nice one it's got lots of details that i can change and adjust so i'm just going to go on and free download that i'm just going to do it as a jpeg now ideally i want it as an svg file but i'm going to download it as the jpeg you can download any image you want um and then you have to convert it to a JPEG. So the website that I'm going to go on to convert um, that JPEG into a SVG file is this one. So you take your download that you've just done and you have to select what you want to convert to. So we're going to go on to a vector image and I'm just going to select SVG there, okay? So then that's, that's your image there converting it to an SVG. It's really simple. I'm going to put all the links to all the websites that I'm using in the description. And if you are enjoying this video, do take a little look at my other videos um, and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so that's all downloaded now. I'm going to go along to PowerPoint, which is where we're going to be making our actual pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the layout of this original slide. This is the sort of preset slide. I'm going to select custom size here and I'm going to go for an 8.5 by 11 inch and I'm going to do that in portrait. The reason I do that most kids um, coloring books and spot the difference they are quite big so um, that's the size I'm going to go for. I'm going to be doing this without bleed so that's the right size for uh, the page without bleed but if you did want to have it with bleed now that's where the pictures would extend to the edges of the page you would have to make the page size slightly larger um i have made a video on all, all of that if you want to have a look a little look at that but we for this one we're doing it without bleed so we must make sure that our picture stays within the margin okay so now we're going to insert the picture that we just downloaded so down, we've downloaded it as the SVG file, so we're just going to insert that one there, which is great. And we're going to make that a little bit smaller because we want to have two images of this. So one being the original and one being the difference. So now we've made that a little bit smaller. I'm just going to copy that picture. But the way I do that is by pressing Control on your keyboard and C. Okay. And then Control and V to make the extra image. Okay, so now we have one and two. Okay, now with this bottom one selected, this is the one that we're going to be changing. So what we're going to do is we've got it selected, we're in graphics format on the PowerPoint page there, and we're just going to go to this group and ungroup. 
Now, the reason that I said to download it as an SVG is because this would not work if it was still in the JPEG format. So that's why you must convert it to an SVG before you do this. It will not have that group highlighted, so it wouldn't let you ungroup it. So this is saying here, this is an important picture, not a imported picture, not a group. Do you want to convert it? Yes, otherwise it won't let you ungroup. Okay, so now we've done that. Just want to make sure that we can ungroup it, so ungroup. Okay, so that is made all of those different elements that make up the picture separate. Okay, so now to click off it, we just click to any blank space on the page. Now I'm just going to increase the size slightly here for you. So now with this, you can make any changes that you want to. So for example, we can just select this star and we can drag it across, make it a bit closer to the ear there. We could change the shape of the eye. There we go. We could make this slightly wider, this whisker here. We could fill in that section of the nose. Now it won't let you actually color that bit in. Um, so when you go on to, so we could just get the drawing tools out. Whoops. And we can just color in that bit of the nose there. There we go. Okay. Now I didn't mean to actually add that little dot there. So I'm just going to select on that and delete it. Okay. Now then, so that is how many changes we've done? One, two, three, four. Let's do something else. So let's select this star and I'm just going to control C to copy that and control V to make another one. I'm gonna go and put that on his leg. Okay, so you can play around with this however much you want to, but the point is that you have got now five differences. It was really quick and easy to do. And that's your activity page done. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel if you want to find more great content on how to make your books for self-publishing on KDP for free. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.